Now to more of our exclusive interview with Kai Chase, the personal chef to Michael Jackson and his family. She was in his rented home on the day he died. Kai, good morning and thanks for being good here. Good morning. Hi. Now, he, you left in March for, for three weeks. You came back. And when you returned, what, what did you notice different about Michael Jackson's appearance? Well, I left in May. In May, I'm sorry. I left in May and came back in June. And I noticed that he, you know, appeared to be not as vibrant mm -hmm. as he was when I was there. And did you attribute that to, uh, to anything in particular? Well, you know, I, I just had, I, I figured he wasn't, he wasn't really eating and, mm -hmm. or getting the nourishment that I had been giving to him. And um, it just seemed to me that he was, was very, like, just not with it, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of slowing down. You know, we, we've heard all this about the drugs and the prescriptions and all this, and you look at this, this rehearsal video, and you watch this and you say, this, how could this guy do this how, and, and perform this way, even in just rehearsal, and have been doing all these other things? How, do you think about that? Oh, of course. You know, I, I admit, you know he's, he's a fabulous uh, entertainer. You know, and he's a dancer. His body uses he uses body as a tool, mm -hmm. and I, I just knew, you know, Michael Jackson when that switch goes on and that yeah. music comes on, he's he's on. Right. You know, and he needed, you know, food and nourishment and fresh organic vegetables to go inside. Do you feel, do you feel if, if maybe you had been been there in that during that period of time, at least nutritionally, he might have been a little bit better off? I think so, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I really do. What was it like? I mean, you were there the last day. I'm sure you have played this over and over and over again in your mind. Mm -hmm. What was that day like? That day was very, very sad. Very sad, very devastating, you know. I, it, it, it just, it just, everyone was so happy and excited about this tour, mm -hmm. you know, and ready to, but for, for, for this to happen is just, it was devastating. What was he like the last time you saw him? And when was that? I saw him the day before. Mm -hmm. The day before, um, I served he and his children lunch. And he ate lunch with his children. And he was moving kind of slow. Mm -hmm. You know, it's moving kind of slow. And I figured, you know, he's dancing. He's rehearsing so much. He's tired, yeah. you know, and he just seemed a little not with it. You, you, you have very fond memories, not only of Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. but of his children as well. You had a relationship with them. Yeah. Tell us, you, I mean, there's some lovely things here <laughs> on, on this table. Tell yeah. us about them. You know, the, the children are beautiful. You know, I, the, the food and some of their favorite foods, you know, that I would, would create for them. The children love grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So we would do vegan grilled cheese for them with like a Veganese mayo and, you know, uh, apricots, whole fruits, mm -hmm. organic fruits. So Paris sent me a, a letter, you know, I walk in the mor walk in the kitchen in the morning. Mm -hmm. and this letter's posted up. Hey, Kai, thanks for the apricots. Daddy loves them. So, you know, Daddy's eating apricots. Daddy's mm -hmm. eating organics, fresh and healthy. What's this back here? The box of happiness. The box of happiness. You know, this is so special to me. This box of happiness. You know, I, when I came back June second, I walked into the maids' quarters and putting on my uniform, and there it was sitting. Paris had made this for me, and it had you know just beautiful gifts in there, mm -hmm. and and just it's like a welcome, welcome home. The gift. iPod. Mr. Jackson gave me an iPod Touch. The children told him that I still had a Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> that I still had a Walkman. So we can't have that. Welcome to the twenty first century. Welcome to yeah, please. If you're rolling with us, please. <laughs> you know, uh, do you hope that you can maintain a, a presence in, in the kids' lives? Oh, I'd love to. Those children are adorable. You know, they they are. Very intelligent. They're, they're fun, and I would love to. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got some uh, set up here in the kitchen because I'd like to talk to you about oh, sure, uh, sure. about some of the things that, that you would prepare for Michael Jackson, and and how we can incorporate because he did eat healthy. Uh, you you say yes, he, did, he yes. liked organic. He liked fresh juices, things yes. like that. Yes, yes. That's Tell us exactly. about what you've got right here. Okay, what well, um this is one of the juices that I would prepare for Mr. Jackson mm -hmm. in the mornings um, and all throughout the day. It's his beet, beet juice, right. which is Good for um, iron, high in antioxidants. So the the ingredients that I used were fresh organic beets, mm -hmm. raw skin on, and um, fresh organic carrots, raw skin on, celery, and red apples. Yeah, you know, when you when you do things like this, and you're expending obviously the kind of energy he would expend, and I would see on mm -hmm. that on that rehearsal video, mm -hmm. what else would he exist on? I mean, these are great, I'm, I'm sure, for a quick burst of energy, uh, and to kind of maintain you. But when you're working that hard, what what kind of foods and what kind of calorie intake do you have to have? 
um, as, as far as with the juices yeah. as well, lean proteins, uh -huh. lean proteins, organic um, uh, uh, vegetables and things of that nature. He loved fish, you know, monkfish on a mm -hmm. bed of arugula. You know, those were very good for him as a dancer. You know, he wanted to eat very healthy so he wouldn't you know cramping you know right. dancers have to eat you know like any in any, any activity like sports you've got an example of, like of, of the uh, juices let's yeah. take a look at this salad back oh, here oh good okay and what is this because this is, it looks very intriguing a lot of great color. Now, now this is one of the salads that he enjoyed the most mm -hmm. mr jackson enjoyed the most that i did and this is a seared ahi uh -huh. tuna salad with herbs de provence on top and the dry herbs and seared them very quickly in a hot hot pan mm -hmm. and put them on top of the salad. So in actuality, these are some of the things that he, you know, that, that, that he loved to eat. And so. there was, in, in a sense, it's kind of a, a little bit of a niswas. Sort of, it because is. Because you've it's, got, you've got like, green beans, you've got, uh, you've got tomato, you've got olives, Absolutely. you've got potato, and you've got eggs. So there's a, there's a decent amount of, uh, of protein. Right. And while you're putting that on, what do you okay. do for the, for the dressing? How okay. can I mix it for oh, you? Oh, good. You're going to help me. Sure. Oh, I love that. Okay, good. Sounds good. Some uh, olive oil? Um, yeah. So what we've got here is some uh, anchovies. Mm -hmm. So you can put the anchovies in first. Okay. Okay. Just maybe like a little teaspoon or so, right? right. And the Dijon mustard. Right. Okay. And shallots. We got some shallots there. Yeah. And it, that's fresh dried basil, sorry. Okay. okay, now you want to add the red wine vinegar. Oh, first, yeah, you want to add the red wine vinegar so we can emulsify that just a little bit, right? And then you want to add in your EVO, your extra virgin olive oil, and you can emulsify that together. That looks good. You're great, right? Well, <laughs> I spent a little time I in the kitchen. I know you did. I know that. <laughs> Sometime with a little too much time. <laughs> okay, and then we could just put that on top of the salad with these here. Very nice. So, yeah, this is one of his favorite. This is one of the things he ate when he would go to rehearsal. And, and you're hoping you're hoping to hopefully maybe cook for Katherine Jackson and the kids going After, forward. Yeah, you know, I was I was. Um, they asked me, you know, they asked me if I'd come in and assist them with the children. You know, Mr. Jackson encouraged me very much to write a cookbook. You know, write a cookbook, and we were going to maybe put this out after uh, the tour. Well, if you do do it, will you come back? I most definitely will. All right, Kai Chase, okay. thank you so much. Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice Thanks for sharing you. those All memories. Right, thank you. And a little bit, and a little bit while she's a little bit country, he's a little bit.